To fight coronavirus and other diseases, we need new drugs. But the government's approval process for that takes so long. Once it's approved for trials, researchers say the drug will be about 10 years away from hitting the market. This year's pandemic got regulators to speed some approvals, but the process still takes a long time. I think it's optimistically 12 to 18 months. Under normal circumstances, it takes five to 10 years to develop a vaccine. It is a process designed to be slow. I think about the FDA's rules more lately because my brother Tom, a medical researcher, discovered something that might save a lot of lives. It's my Tom and I often fought as kids. Our mother drew this picture. We eventually stopped fighting and Tom helped raise me. I trusted him because he was so smart. He went to Princeton and Harvard and did such top-notch science that when our government feared Soviet microwaves were beamed at the U.S. Embassy, the State Department shipped Tom to Moscow to investigate. When Algeria's dictator got sick, they tapped Tom to treat him. And then, studying blood, Tom discovered an unusual protein. He named it gelsalin. Turns out gelsalin reduces excess inflammation. Now, some inflammation is useful. Our own immune system creates it to fight off diseases. But too much inflammation is a killer. In COVID-19, what usually kills the patient is not the virus. In fact, as the patients get sicker, often the virus is disappearing anyway. It's the over-exuberant, highly excessive immune reaction that's destroying the lung. Dr. Mark Danubli was once Tom's assistant and protege. Now he speaks for Tom because several months ago, Tom had a sudden heart attack and died. A few years before, he'd come on my television show and pointed out the vast predominance of what gets products to patients comes from the private sector. Only the private sector has the resources and the skill sets to get the job done. Now this company, BioAegis, is trying to get the FDA's permission to give Tom's protein to people with diseases like pneumonia, sepsis, and coronavirus. Because when you're very sick, gelsalin levels go down and inflammation gets worse. We are not helpless here. The, the gelsalin that's depleted can be replaced. Will replacing gelsalin save lives by reducing inflammation? It did when Bioe just gave some to sick mice. The mice treated with some extra gelsalin got better. More animals live, but it also improves what their lungs look like. That improved lung function should help human coronavirus patients. And protect the lung from injury and allow the patient to recover and get off the respirator and go back home and hopefully live a normal life. BioEgis spent millions getting through the FDA's first layers of tests. After the animal tests succeeded, they spent millions more studying its safety in hospital patients. They gave them big doses of gelsalin and the patients did fine. That was expected. Gelsalin's a natural protein after all. It's already in our blood. Now Bioegis is trying to raise more millions to fund tests that would convince the FDA that gelsalin improves outcomes for sick people. We were initially doing this before COVID-19. Now that COVID-19 is broken, and it's very possible, God willing, that we will get some approval from the Spanish agency in the next couple weeks. Spain, because those fast approvals promised by our government so far haven't helped Gelsalin. Go give it to them. I don't get why it takes years, why you have to beg for permission. Just find some sick people and who are willing to try something. Well, we, we legally cannot do that uh, until we get approval. The first rule of medicine is first do no harm. Aren't a lot of diseases caused by too much inflammation? This could be a big deal. The potential benefit is enormous. This could be a major step, you know, a miracle drug like antibiotics were. I hope they succeed. I've invested in bioegis. I'll probably lose that money because most new drugs never make it to market. We do want to make sure new drugs are safe. But in a pandemic, shouldn't there be a faster way to get promising treatments, ones that have already been proven safe, to people who might benefit? There ought to be. Hope you like our videos. If you have any interest or expertise in drug development, maybe you can help me with gel solid. 
I'm in way over my head. Just email me at john at johnstossel.com. Thank <laughs> you.